some vodka. Would you like some vodka? I love vodka. I must protect I love, some. love vodka. Yeah. It's water, man. It's water. 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 It looks like water, but it doesn't taste like water. Their mulligan, I guess. Yeah. But you get to see your own mulligan. Mm -hmm. so I guess it just makes it so spectators can't see the mulligan. Mm -hmm. So we can't Ugh. cheat. That's what. I guess, if that was an issue. <laughs> I mean, if you're spectating both players, I don't think you're worrying about cheating. Yeah. Huh. So I, I feel like the zoo is really favored in this matchup, but we'll see what the new uh, improvements, aka the uh, interesting. It, it's like the older variant, I mean, yeah. like with the, the huge burst potential. Yeah, from... you, yeah, you see Bran, and then you see the Leroy. I haven't seen that for a long time. But he, yeah, he's keeping true to the older list rather than to the new ones that people were trying out. So then the question is, is like, did this was this the the Chinese list that was it ran double? I mean, I, I feel like Z Giant is just so powerful in Zoo, and that's yeah. the main reason why Zoo is still around. Yeah, I, I feel like if you're running Leroy, they're wild growth, so you can play Teacher plus the Roots next turn. Mm -hmm. I like that point. And you just lose out on your one, the uh, extra two one, but you get the free two damage to face this mm -hmm. turn. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah, I like your play a lot more. Yeah, playing the violet teacher in the living room is next turn. You're gonna generate a lot of the value, but then yeah, it's like cards. Like, yeah, but cards like the brand is gonna be annoying. Brand's gross, man. Like yeah. if he runs into an Argus or something like that, yeah, that's spelled game over. Yeah. But if this teacher ends up, you know, doing work, which it usually does in this deck, he's gonna be le uh, leading right into Moonblade Portal. But. I mean, like, Druid the Claw got the cut early. I wouldn't be surprised Age of the War is going to get the cut. Mm. It just keeps... The deck keeps evolving. Yeah. But yeah, th look at this. Look at this. This brand is just so disgusting. He's like, oh, I'm going to make my 1-1 one, one into a 5-1. And... Sylvanas. Etc. Yeah, like, Sunwalker. Sunwalker is pretty yeah, good in this situation. Yeah, Sunwalker is pretty disgusting, too. Chasing my cat off my computer. Okay, let's see. Drake. Drake. Double trade on the Knife Juggler. Seems I like ideal. that. Yeah. I think he was hoping to like pick up maybe uh, a, another Roots or something. Man, do Druids really need another one mana? Nah. Well, I mean, Living Roots is just so good. Yeah. Kinda want they, have moon, they have Moonfire too. Well, you can run Moonfire yeah. in a deck if you want, but this is not Malajos variant probably. Uh, I think Thorns might eventually come out. Like, Thorns is a, a buff that Druids had for like past 10 years that just did Malajos. Not a massive amount of damage, but like did damage every time you hit him. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's a card that's like a secret. Oh my god, a secret for druids. That'd secrets be... for druids. Oh my god, secrets for druids. Never would have seen the day. I mean, it's possible, dude. Yeah, it's highly possible. Secrets for any class is just doable at some extent. Like, what exactly qualifies as a secret is All the right. question. All right. So some vodka actually has a very clunky type of hand. But he's able to use that Gormonk very, very soon, so which is nice. So With Brand, that'd be insane. Yeah, so you're probably gonna Moonglade here, and then you're gonna trade the 4-4 into the 3-3, and just hero power on the 1-1 one, one down. Sunwalker would be beautiful here, though. Well, yeah, you you do it first, see what Jaime. you get. Is... Yeah, Hyman's okay. I don't think it's that insane in this yeah. current situation. Yeah. Like, he's he's behind on board. Like I would almost think it if you want to save your high man, you want to kill the dry wolf alpha. It's he's already been shown several times that brand doesn't have that much more value out of what it's been used for already. So it's just top deck plus hero power. Well, I well, mean, well, the fact that the Fireland cool. Portal gives you any value is just gross. Yeah. You know how many times it's gone that um, oh, what is his name? What is his name? The the shaman five drop that gains eight or gains a bunch of freaking life. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Freeze Mage lately. I'm trying to think of what he's called. Um, like Vex Lord, or whenever you spell deals damage, restore that much health to your hero. I forgot actually what that is. But looking here, picking up the swipe is pretty good. <laughs> Hills here? Yeah, it is a full board clear here. Because then you just swipe the uh, Gorbon and then you just innovate the hero power. And for full board clears, looks pretty good. Especially when you have a high main on board that can able to do tons of damage. Yeah, I, I like the innovate here too. Yeah, you also have the moonblade following up, so you don't really feel the threat of lethal yet. So feels good. He yeah. does look like he's in a dominating position. Yeah. He could actually do the uh, heal plus the uh, the mire keeper for 
the more value. So you just have this huge board. Which is a good way to counter out too, because you just lose this bunch of falls behind. Like, you don't even have to worry about damage that much. Just go with the, the board control. Just go with the flow. So it looks like he's going to discover a spell first. Not exactly sure what spell he's looking for. Maybe Claw, maybe Starfire? Eh, I like Claw more. Claw's it's pretty good. It also gives you health yeah. too, right? Yeah, sense. if you go with Claw, you can trade with the Dryer Wolf Alpha and go face for six. Yeah, it looks good. I like that. Oh! Oh, wait, no, it doesn't have the effect. If it has an effect, that would be pretty disgusting. I mean. He, he's just a 5-5 a five five for yeah. six. Yeah. So you're getting the worst end of the deal. Yeah, if he Ooh. actually had the, um, yeah, the Foul Cry, pretty disgusting. Wait, does he? Is he 3 off? I think. Wait, no, 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 it's lethal. Isn't it? No. Oh, no, oh wait, not. with Leroy you get plus one. Yeah, you so get plus two. one? Yeah, he was two off. Oh, he was two off. Feels bad, man. Two off. Oh, it's because he doesn't. He didn't have enough mana. My bad. I was including a soul fire. If he had the soul fire, it would have been lethal. Mm. Okay, don't forget about the abusive. Then the abusive too. So it was like a total of 16 in hand, 4 on board. So that's what, 20? But then you add in the one for the dry wolf alpha, which would be 21. Yeah. So Bixie is actually not trading. Does does some vodka actually have a chance of lethal here? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight plus, plus six. Ten. That's like fourteen. That's like eighteen. Ooh. So he's one off. Oh wait, no. And no, it doesn't give him additional two unless he puts it with the Leroy. Yeah. So he has to make sure he sets up the right ordering yeah, and he... does the dry wolf attack last and pumps up the Leroy. Then does the soul fire. Yeah. So yeah, as long as he sequences this right and puts it in the right place, yeah, he may have it. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, there, there, That's there good. we go. Yeah, it's lethal. Oh, baby. Nice. Yeah, exactly lethal. Oh, man. Feels good, man. Feels good. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's why when I thought Bixie, when he was actually um, playing it out there, I felt like he should have traded most of the things. Because then, 